Hello everyone, oh, welcome to Max Carroll. So today we've got some more WWE news. It is about Michael Cole gets a big promotion in WWE. Remember to hit the like button, hit subscribe, stay cool. So, let's get into the news story. Michael Cole has been provided commentary for WWE since 1997 in some capacity. He has just received a big promotion within the company and is well deserved. PW Insider reports that Cole has gained a corporate title within WWE. Michael Cole is now the new Vice President of Announcing. This promotion actually took place seven weeks ago. Michael Cole has received a promotion within World Wrestling Entertainment as a, and has gained a new corporate title, the Vice President of of announcing PW Insider has confirmed with multiple sources the promotion officially took place seven weeks ago, we are told. Michael Cole impressed a lot of fans with his solo commentary during WWE's Zero Audience shows, and Cole was definitely in an interesting situation, but he has been through tough times with WWE, and WWE will now carry on in, a, in his corporate roles settings um, as he represents the company with his announced team as well. Do you like Michael Cole guys? What do you think of Michael Cole? I think Michael Cole is very good at his job. I think Michael Cole is very good. Well anyway guys let's get into the next news story. The next news story is about the Stephanie McMahon. WWE employees to have freed of Stephanie McMahon to correct botch WrestleMania line. Stephanie McMahon is a lot like her father. She knows the way she wants things done. She fired people over going off script before. Ringside News has learned that Stephanie McMahon flubbed a line from the WrestleMania intro for night two and people are talking. The line she messed up is important because WWE owns the phrase WrestleMania register a trademark for it. Just too big for one night. The slogan that appears in the WrestleMania t-shirts. And they've been saying that since the show of shows was split into two nights. Stephanie McMahon misplaced the gist in the phrase during her WrestleMania intro. For the second night, she only said, Welcome back to WrestleMania. The show that is just too big for one night. The, this might not seem like a big deal. But if, but if you would be for Stephanie McMahon. If it was for anyone else to flub their lines around her, Stephanie McMahon was the one who flubbed her lines, flubbed her lines, and no one said anything. It was told to us people in WWE are talking about it, but no one will say anything publicly because everyone fears that Stephanie McMahon isn't the the kind woman who you all can give notes to. Now, do you believe this um, report, or what do you think, guys? Well, I thought Stephanie McMahon was quite a nice woman Well, she appears out on TV. I know they all do. But guys, these new stories keep coming in very quickly, like hotcakes. And we've got um, one more new story we'll give to you today. It's about WWE superstars lobbying to get banned move reinstated. WWE has a list of banned moves for a reason. These moves can be messed up to seriously hurt someone or if, or have a reputation of doing so. One classic dangerous move is on its way back. The pile driver found its way back um, on WWE is implemented um, in the Canadian Destroyer moves. It's an interesting story how Vince McMahon got the Canadian Destroyer on the main roster. Fightful Selects reports that Matt Riddle and Damian Priest were told not to you do a Canadian Destroyer again after it was done at a live event. They didn't um, do the clearance move. Rey Mysterio and Andrade used the Canadian Destroyer f frequently on the main roster now. For some reason, the Canadian Destroyer is okay by McMahon, but Owens can't get his old package pile driver finish approved. Kevin Owens has made an effort to pitch the package pile driver as his finish quite often, but the idea never makes it to Vince McMahon. It was also noted by several superstars that said they believe certain moves are able to be 
made enough through, but they don't want the pile driver in the move. Because the move actually is a is a flipping pile driver, um, like the Canadian destroyer. But it, since its name is different, it sounds to stake its claim. What do you think of that? Do you think the pile driver should be reinstated into the WWE? Do you think the pile driver should be left out? Or do you think the pile driver is just a too dangerous of a move to be brought back and used in WWE? So, uh, so what do you think of all these new stories we've had so far today, guys? We've had Michael Cole get his big WWE promotion. We've had WWE employees too afraid of Stephanie McMahon to correct the bots WrestleMania line. And um, we've had WWE superstars lobbying to get fan to get a move that was banned reinstated. So anyway guys, that's all the new stories for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe for more of the Maximaniac. Our like goal for this video is 10 likes. And we want to hit by the end of the year 1,000 subscribers. And remember to stay cool.